Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2019 Grand Design Imagine 2850 MK travel trailer with the Super Slide. Overall exterior length is 35 feet 6 inches and the exterior height to the dual AC units and full walk-on roof is going to be 11 feet and the unloaded vehicle weight when it came off the assembly line or the UVW is going to be exactly 7,004 pounds and if I don't forget I'll show you that little sticker that told me that on the back side. This is a second owner camper. The only reason why the current owner is selling it is because they've got a fifth wheel, a Keystone Montana fifth wheel. Give you an idea of the floor plan here. All right. And we'll start off with the Super Slide here. Super Slide's gonna accommodate the brand new Thomas Paine theater seating and the boot dinette and that's all ultra leather boot dinette breaks down into a bed fairly easy collapses down you can definitely sleep uh, definitely one adult comfortably on this or maybe two kiddos show off the uh, ultra leather uh, there's really no sign of wear I would say average wear for 2019 we're going into 2023 looks to be like a dark brown color and this is the foil wrap top for the table and there are foil wrap countertops in the kitchen which I'll show you when I show off the kitchen theater pane Thomas Paine sorry uh, theater seating has the heat massage and the LED light accent obviously and again brand new excellent condition You do have the night shades all throughout. Let's open up this, try to get a little bit more light in here. And I've got a little bit of some good lighting here, kind of show off the window treatments. It's going to be that leather finish or leatherette finish that's on the boot dinette and the theater seating. And then some kind of a cloth. Actually, that's kind of a leather too finish. And it's the gray trim. In the rear here, you do have the uh, trifold sleeper sofa. You can definitely sleep, uh, definitely, I would say, two adults comfortably on that. And it's the trifold comes out, and it should come out to about here. So you're talking about sleeping possibly two on the boot dinette, two on the rear sofa, which is ultra leather also, and then two in the back. So you possibly six people comfortably and again uh, condition on this sofa is pretty much excellent condition I did notice a little little scratch here Let's see if it will show up in the video just a little bit of scrape right here and this stuff I look for Let's see if I can get some light in on it see this stuff I look for it's it's just cosmetic just minor little scrape but uh, I would rate this trailer great condition for 2019. There's a little scratch on the outside that I'll show you on the back side. Refrigerator here, I believe, is going to be uh, 8 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. By Dometic. And there's a Dometic badge there and it is not preset for one temperature you can actually adjust the temperature which is nice turn it on a couple hours later you've got a cold fridge and again you can adjust the temperatures which is really nice you do have the farmer seek undermounted farmer sink which I like should have done that a long time ago. Again, foil wrapped countertops. This is not your traditional uh, Fomica top or laminate top. These are more water resistant. Kind of a smoked glass look. And 
stainless steel finish on all your appliances and I do make sure that the digital readouts working on the microwaves Furion oven with the LED light accent which is really nice three burner gas cooktop front burner usually is a high output for boiling hot water and a glass lid for more counter space and huge counter space on this floor plan I would definitely as far as counter space put this up against any travel trailer of this length cabinets uh, the color is going to be some kind of a dark maple and uh, your hardware is going to be a brush nickel finish yeah full extension metal ball bearing drawer guides you do have I believe a 42 inch flat screen and it's on a pivoting arm High traffic area is going to be residential uh, vinyl flooring. It's got kind of a, a stone look. Crowned roof, so you have an arched ceiling, which is nice. And you do have the st standard is the 15,000 BTU ducted AC unit in the living room and it also is equipped with the optional 13,500 BTU AC unit in the bedroom and they're all tied in together and this does have the quick dump feature so once you get cooled off when you get to the campsite shut this louver off and this louver off and you've got ducted AC all throughout your furnace on this is going to be a 35,000 BTU furnace more than enough for this coach this is a four seasons camper it does have a four seasons insulation package on this which means you're Underbelly is fully enclosed and heated by the ductwork. Nice shower with their squeegee concept for the curtain. And you do have a foot flush porcelain toilet. And again, your foil wrapped countertop. And you do have a medicine cabinet, not just a mirror, which some manufacturers will do in this line. Nice little nooks for odds and ends there. And you do have a skylight in the shower. And you are ducted AC and heat in the bathroom. And you do have a nice little fan in the bathroom also. I'll show off the central command when we get ready to go outside. Walking into the master bedroom, queen bed, brand new mattress and you've got storage up underneath and I did this with one hand because they've got gas assist struts closets on each side of the bed and you do have outlets on each side of the bed you have an outlet right there and an outlet right there and you also have USB charging port right there for charging up smart devices which is convenient I do check all campers for water damage especially in the closets in all four corners did not find any issues really with this camper pretty much passed with flying colors headboard there is going to be the same finish as your theater seating in the living room and your sofas that ultra leather finish you do have recessed puck lights all throughout and you do have motion sensor lights all throughout also there's your optional 13,500 BTU AC unit in the bedroom. Lots of storage space on this floor plan. This is another motion sensor light that I forgot to turn on. Anytime you see the little ball there on one side, that's a motion detector sensor. Let's turn it off. And you are prepped for TV cable and satellite prepped right there and there's probably a mounting backer plate somewhere on this wall all right
central command here, you're going to have your light switches. Those are easy to figure out. Your water pump switch. Nice light to tell you that it's on. And this is your switches for your gas electric, six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. Flip the switches on. Whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power, about 15 minutes later, you'll have hot water. And these are going to be your slide buttons. Slide, uh, I'm sorry, your slide button for your living room right there, the super slide. And this is going to be the button for your awning, which I believe is a 21 foot awning, largest you can get on this floor plan. Thermostat controls there. Stereo is going to be the Jensen stereo with Bluetooth, smart device ready, ties into all your smart devices, HDMI, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, smart device hookups right here. Kind of back up here, show off that, that arch ceiling, that crown roof really does make a huge difference. I like the way they did the trim here, finish out the ceiling which is just one of those things that Grand Design does on a lot of their higher-end products, by the way. All right, oh, one tin outlet right there. All right, let's go outside. I'm going to signal the owner to turn off the generator so I'm not talking loud. It's going to be the fiberglass. They're calling it a gel coat finish. It's aluminum frame sidewalls front cap is all aluminum framed out and you do have the painted front cap which is a beautiful aggressive front cap with the LED light accents your actual imagine decal or badge there is is actually going to be the 3M brand of badging so it, it's more durable uh, it will last longer than your regular traditional uh, decals you have a it's like a rock guard on the front there and you do have the power hitch jack on the front and I believe that was an option or part of a package you do have the heavy-duty stabilizer jacks up underneath those are the ones you want those little rinky dink electric jacks in my opinion are a waste huge storage with the way they do their z-frame design you have huge storage on a travel trailer of this, uh, uh, I guess, this uh, level. You do have a drop frame design on the front. They call it a, they used to call it a Z frame design, where they basically drop down the I beam, and then you have more storage. Uh, they do it a lot with fifth wheels, and they were doing it a lot a long time ago with high end fifth wheels. So a lot of high end features on this uh, model. Motion sensor light right there in the exterior storage there's all your aluminum framing magnets to hold the door up I always say it they should have done those magnets a long time ago instead of those cheap white clips tinted windows 80 percent tint on your windows the decals I look this thing over pretty good the decals are in great shape kind of put a rush on this to get it going to get it listed for uh, 2000 for January of 2023, it's, it's uh, Christmas is next week, so or in a couple of weeks. But um, anyway, I wanted to do the video real quick because the owners are putting it back into covered storage. So this is uh, stored inside covered storage, which is definitely uh, a good thing, and you can definitely tell it. Got a nice sun here. See the decals aren't curled up or anything like that. It's good shape. Outside kitchen, two burner gas cooktop. Honestly, it's never been used. Yeah, I don't think it's ever been used. Huh. 110 outlet hookups there, and you got a little dorm fridge. It's like a two or three cubic foot uh, electric dorm fridge out here, which is nice. Yeah, I see that sun's shining right on it shows off those decals that's what I look for first thing I look for sprayer for uh, hosing off stuff you got a little bit of a little bit of scratch in there a little bit of scratch in there uh, it's really a non-issue well the sun's shining on this side I'm gonna show out those wheels too aluminum alloy wheels Dexter axles tires are in excellent condition 
they are original tires because they were made this is a 2019 model and the little four digit code right here by the rim 28th week of 2018 was when all the tires were made and they're all matching nitro filled they have a, a grease fitting right here pop off this cap and you can grease your own axles you don't have to take it in you do have outside marine speakers that glow it's a led light feature on that and again your 21 foot power awning and it's full adjusting you can actually tilt one side or the other down anytime you see these little knobs right there you can actually adjust it for water runoff and there's your enclosed heated underbelly all your holding tanks are protected i think the r values if i remember right it's like r r40 in the roof r30 in the floor and r17 or i'm sorry r7 in the sidewall full walk-on roof nice ladder to get up on your full walk-on crowned roof you are prepped for a backup camera Oh, we don't want to advertise those guys. You do have the 50 amp marine stall cord. This is 50 amp service, and I believe that was an option. 30 amp was standard. And this is the marine stall cord, unplugs, and stows away nice and clean. And if you ever have any power issues, a little light here tells you that you've got shore power coming in. So that's nice. That little light definitely saves you a lot of time when you're trying to figure out uh, power issues. Here's your super slide. This is going to be the little dink I was talking about in the beginning of the video on the back side here. Uh, it was when the original owners put the slide out and hit the power pole. <laughs> so anyway, it's a it's cosmetic. It's a non-issue. Actually, I just painted it up a little black. Really, you never know it. And it's on the back side. Nobody's ever going to see it. I do find it important to point out everything. If it could be a concern to a potential buyer, I will point it out. See, all your decals are in excellent shape. Your Imagine badge there. Excellent shape. And they are calling it a gel coat finish. Not just a high gloss phylon finish. It's easier to clean, and it definitely shows a lot better, and especially when it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Nice service light there. That looks like a light bulb might be out. This is gonna be your hookups there, and you've got your enclosed and heated dump valves, or gate valves are all right there. Somebody had fun with some spray foam to seal it all up. And that's usually, when I find these grand designs, they usually, that's the manufacturers that do that. I don't know why they don't use black spray foam or expanding foam. Uh, this is going to be your black tank sewer flush so you don't have to drag a hose inside and rinse out your toilet. This is going to be your potable water or your uh, freshwater holding tank, which is 52 gallons. And this is a little sticker that told me what the weight is. UVW. And pounds is 7,004 pounds. And that's when it came off the assembly line. Battery disconnect saves you on your battery when you have it in storage. These are all your hookups for cable and satellite. 110 hookups there. A uh, water hookup here. And then adjust it for filling up your fresh water tank or just come directly in for city. Easy to figure out. Hot and cold running water sprayer. Hey, look at that. Nice cable hookups there. And again, motion detector light. And this switch turns on the front accent light that I showed on the front. And for winterizing, just follow the directions right there. Look at that. Yeah. I love these Imagines. They're nice. Solar prep. So it can trickle charge your battery. And I'm going to back up here. See if we can show off those two dual AC units up top there. There you go. I think I got everything. Oh, there's a little kibble drawer uh, up underneath the refrigerator I forgot to point out for the little doggies. And there's D-rings around here somewhere for hooking up, uh, tying, tying your dog down, or not <laughs> tying it down, but uh, securing your pets. There you go. I know I didn't get everything, but uh, 
uh, I do apologize. Um, anyway, uh, if you want to come and see the camper, call the number on the ad, uh, or you can just call 502-645-3124. You always deal directly with the owner. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you have a comment, leave it below. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area for 2023, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.